jury of your peers slipping away. There is a decline in jury trials across the country, including here in Virginia, where more cases are being decided by a judge or out of court. Heather Sullivan investigates why new at five. While the volume of both civil and criminal cases is increasing, the percentage of cases decided by a jury is dropping. More people are choosing out-of-court settlements to have a judge decide or plea bargains. One of the leading organizations that researches this very issue is actually right here in Williamsburg. This is the National Center for State Courts. People are somewhat adverse to the risk of the uncertainty of the trial. If you're controlling your own case in a settlement proceeding, you have some control over it. Vice President Robert Baldwin says they found jury trials dropping in 15 states they study. And data from the Virginia Supreme Court shows jury trials in circuit civil cases went from 1.5% in 1991 to 0.6% last year. Jury trials in circuit criminal court went from 3.9% to 1.6%. It's due, number one, the cost of jury trials. They are very expensive um, for both sides. Uh, that's primarily due to experts. Some legal experts worry it's eroding public participation in the court system, which was designed to keep court open and ensure government paid judges weren't making all the decisions. We lose the public accountability. Uh, sometimes when someone has committed a wrong, even on the civil side, a corporation, a government, or whomever, and they're brought to task in a public trial, that has a beneficial effect. But trial lawyer Stephanie Grana says out-of-court arbitration and mediation give both parties more control over the outcome. And ironically, despite decreasing jury trials, judge vacancies are making it harder to get a trial date. If I file a case tomorrow, I don't actually get into the courtroom for a year, year and a half. And so if my client wants resolution, sometimes a settlement would be the more appropriate way to go. Experts seem to agree that jury trials are necessary for democracy, but perhaps need to be made more affordable and accessible to those who need them. Heather Sullivan, NBC 12 News.